having a little fun today, you know, playing some rhythm guitar, you know. And I think the key here is to have fun when you're playing rhythm guitar, because there's a lot you can do rhythmically, as well as playing different chords and things, you know. But I think the main thing for me when it comes to rhythm guitar is the rhythm part of it. You know, and most of the time when I'm playing a shuffle, just a straight, like a shuffle like this, I'm thinking of sort of like this, uh, you know, kind of motion. You know, and, and there's a lot of emphasis on that kind of motion, you know, and I really, I learned something from the great drummer, uh, James Gatson, because I had the privilege to play with James Gatson a lot, you know, a bunch of years ago at this club called Harvell's in Santa Monica, California. And we played with my good friends, Paulie, Sarah, Travis Carlton, some, Bobby Sukamoto, some, different guys like this, you know, we would play, you know, two, three sets uh, um, every Monday at Harvell's. And it was just really great. You know, it was really cool for me to kind of see how he, um, James Gatson, approached rhythm and how he was so completely involved in the groove and making it feel so good, you know, and that was one of the biggest, biggest things, you know, I played rhythm guitar for a long time and I, you know, put a lot of time into, you know, trying to make it feel good, but James was like, it was just, you know, he's a singer too. So it was just this sort of uh, really musical, like even his accents are bills and phrases are, you know, like going into the next section of the song, it would be so natural and it would feel so, you know, like easy for you to understand what's going on as far as the rhythm and the timing, you know, it just always felt very natural, you know, very, you know, just easy, just easy, you know, and the drummer, you know, can make or break a band, you know. So James Gatson is just one of my favorite musicians of all time. And there's so many other fantastic drummers, you know, that I've played with over the years. I mean, I've had the great fortune to play with a lot of fantastic drummers, you know. One of my dear friends, Dave Kidder, is a fantastic drummer, you know. I mean, and just so many, and I have so many still on my list to play with. Charlie Drayton? <laughs> But yeah, you know, Matt Brown, Matt Funky Brown, all, just so many great drummers. Gary Novak, you know, just so many. It's just, I feel crazy to even try and name them. Tom Breckline, you know, <laughs> all these different drummers, you know. But um, yeah, that really is something. I'm really into drums and, and how they work in a unit, you know, in different kinds of things, you know, and just... I feel that the rhythm instruments, the bass, if the bass, the drums, the guitar, the rhythm guitar mainly, can, you know, give that comfort, you know, and just that really musical, easy feeling thing, you know, but still be assertive enough, you know, it's this constant thing of being assertive, but still feeling good and the music feeling good, you know. I mean, like every instrument in the band should sound like, you know, make you want to dance and make you want to move and make you excited and make you, you know, just feel good. The groove is about feeling good, you know, and it really comes from, you know, people dancing and stuff like that. So whenever I try and approach a rhythm part, it's not so much, uh, you know, just playing a rhythm guitar part. It's about feeling a certain way, you know, you could be playing the most simple rhythm, you know, you could be playing like one note. But you want that note to feel good, you know, you want it to dance, you know, and the kind of music that I like, even, you know, all the different kinds of music that I like, you know, when you think about well, obviously, all of the blues that I love, Chicago blues, feels amazing, you know. I mean, Otis Rush, Muddy Waters, Little Walter, Sonny Boy. That music feels incredible. It feels so good. 
gospel music that I love, the Dixie Hummingbirds, you know, things like that feel so good. But even when you think about like Steely Dan, that music feels good. I mean, they had Bernard Purdy playing, Rick Morata, you know, Steve Gadd on this stuff. So, I mean, that's that music felt good. You know, Chuck Rainey, I mean, it's not even possible for him to play anything that's not going to feel good. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to say that today and um, talk about, you know, my dear friend James Gatson and what an honor and a privilege it was to play with him, you know, and it's just magnificent. If you hear him, you know, with Bill Withers and so many different great artist Marvin Gaye and different people that he played with. And he's a legend, you know, and I really appreciate that time with him. And I learned a lot, you know, about life and about music. So, all right, everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll see you soon.